Howdy folks, live from Big Top Chautauqua, welcome to another episode of Tent Show Radio. I can't believe another year's going around, is that a big top I see there lying on the ground, ballyhoo. Oh, ballyhoo. Funding support for Tent Show Radio is provided by Travel Wisconsin. Smile a little wider with a Wisconsin getaway. Find mouth-watering dining ideas, must-see attractions, and endless accommodations at TravelWisconsin.com or on our app for iPhone and Android. And by Northwoods Brewing of Eau Claire, Wisconsin, dedicated to craft brewing specialty beers including Flop and Crappie, Lil' Bandit Brown Ale, and Poplar Porter. NorthwoodsBrewPub.com And now here's your host of Tent Show Radio, best-selling author, humorist, singer-songwriter, and part-time pig farmer, Michael Perry. Thank you, Phil, and howdy, Tent Show folks. Oh, it's great to be way up north here, under the beautiful blue and pearl-gray canvas, this fine, stout tent at the foot of Mount Ashwa Bay, overlooking the ancient waters surrounding the Apostle Islands, and just one sail full of breeze away from Shawamigan Bay. The performance you're about to hear is one in a long, long tradition of singing, dancing, and storytelling performed live and in person beneath this beautiful tent. We keep her pitched from June until the autumn moons, and we'd be most grateful if you choose to join us. You'll find a complete schedule at bigtop.org. We hope you join us, and if you do, when the first note rises from the stage, we think you'll understand why patrons and performers alike love to say, Big Top Chautauqua. It's the Carnegie Hall of Tent Shows. Tonight on Tent Show Radio, we'll stomp and frail and let her wail with Perk Near Sandstone. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Prepare to get kinetic. Our guests this evening play breakneck bluegrass or jam grass or speed grass or just plain loud and fast. You will feel the urge to slap your thigh, bounce your knee, and hunt down a smoking freight train. You will feel bad for the banjo, you will fear for the fiddle, you will gape and hoot for strings that stretch but never snap. Well, actually sometimes they do snap. They'll treat you to a banjo joke, they'll go all high lonesome from down low in their gut. If the stage had a speedometer, they'd bust it. If it had a radar gun, they'd be busted. Ladies and gentlemen, pin your ears back and please give a mile a minute welcome to our dear neighbors from Minnesota, Pert near Sandstone. Hello, friends.
Mayor Sandstone from Minneapolis, St. Paul, Minnesota. Very good friend Ryan Young is going to be playing with us tonight. He's all jet lagged, so he doesn't even know what time it is anyway. Adam has a lot of van leg from the uh, drive up. Seven inch record it has a video on YouTube. You should check it out. It's called Ship of Fools. There's danger on the water. There's danger all aboard. If you want to make it home, don't even leave the shore. Think you're dollar baby, think you're loving wife. Come here, little high water, this ship will take your life. It carries no cargo, but man, the sand is his. You won't know where it's coming, but it'll never leave. The sea will throw a sickening ball, tired of me running red. You keep your secrets, but the fool knows where they're here. Sail away on it.
got your number, it'll make you even cringe. I know all what you have on this whole voyage is a binge. There's me teeth, boot string, I know my portion well. When I finally hit my fill, I'm going straight to hell. There's no salvation, company of this sore. When this day the sea is bleak, the stars do not report. Bones, they do not float, dead flesh, it cannot swim. To dark and days in an ugly place, the steam and arc is drifting. Been a ship of fools, he's a blind man's only guide. There's no moral compass, or laws to advise. Sailing through this misery, haunted by the past. Headed for disaster with every breeze that is the mass. Children scream in terror, a heart is closed at ports. Families hide inside their homes behind shutters and doors. Sailors, God can see us fly, no one can help us stare. To Babylon, we'll see you live. Everybody. Thank you very much. That's Sonny Boy Nate Saif on the mandolin. Well, uh, we played at the Minnesota Zoo last night, and it went over relatively incident-free. Adam did get bit by a uh, what was it? An ostrich? I can't really tell. Ostrich or an emu? One of those. Emu, one of those. Anyway, we're gonna have him sing a song. It's our little sorry for last night, Adam. He gets a little frisky when he's in Wisconsin. After all, it is hard to be humble when you're from Wisconsin. Two of us in the band happen to be Wisconsin natives. I won't tell you which ones they are, but they're the good looking ones. Here's an old time number called the Milwaukee Blues.
Two more drinks, I'd like to try. Martin said, what can it be? A cup of water and a glass of tea. Glass of tea. It's a cup of tea. It's a cool drink of water and a cup of tea. Before he died, there's two more roads I'd like to ride. Barton said, what can it be? Southern Pacific and a Santa Fe. Santa Fe. It's Santa Fe. It's Southern Pacific and a Santa Fe. One more. Ready, Andy? I just ain't have my feel. I'm feeling hazy. 
until that coffee spill It's that first cup of the day Gets me on my way to 20 cups of coffee in the morning One for every beer I last night Hell with what they say I'm living my life my way And I'm working every day and I'm alright Yeah, 20 cups of coffee in the morning Oh, only way I'll make it another five Sleeping for the dead I don't even own a bed I drink coffee now dietary song for you. We had a, we had a slight problem, actually. Um, we, we played a gig last night. We got home late, and Kevin left the banjos in the van. And uh, we came out this morning to come up here, and uh, the back window was broken. And there were three more banjos in the back seat. Well, it's our first time in the Big Top. Thanks for coming out early to hang with us. We played the zoo last night, so we're gonna call this next song Snake Farmer.
That's our good friend Knievel on the uh, broken banjo string. You are listening to Tenth Show Radio. Welcome back to Ten Show Radio, folks, from the backstage dressing room with one lonely little light bulb burning. Just now, a skeeter buzzed a little too close to that light, and now I can smell scorched skeeter. This reminds me to report that in August of 2006, the New York Times announced the appointment of fragrance expert Chandler Burr as its first ever perfume critic, and I'm still jealous. I really wanted that gig. Let me be clear. Mr. Burr was the right man for the job. I shall never forget his characterization of Sal de Vetever as unearthly as a god born in the cold. That's not the kind of phrasing you hear every day, at least not down to the feed mill or the fire hall, where the similes, while vivid and equally cherished, tend to run a tad closer to the ground. If the Times had chosen me, my first order of business would have been to expand the job description beyond tweed distillations the rest of us can't afford until Walmart does the knockoff. Although in fairness to Chandler Burr, it should be known he once gave high marks to a bottle of copper tone suntan lotion, and he also parsed the fragrance of New York City asphalt. But the thing is, the world is full of aromas not contained in sculpted decanters, and these scents nonetheless cry out for review. As such, I wish to offer my services, to the New York Times, sure, but also to humankind, as a second-tier olfactory journalist, a guy willing to go beyond, or perhaps even beneath, Chanel No. 5, and deconstruct scents for those of us who tend to favor fragrances along the lines of schmelt, fresh axle grease, and damp fire hose. I offer as my qualifications a wide range of scent-based experience, including, but not limited to, a first-hand familiarity with the smell of fear, whiffs of desperation, second-hand pepper spray, and the redolence of over-served frat boys. While my early training, completed within a six-square-mile patch of northern Chippewa County, Wisconsin, focused on earth tones, specifically those rolling off the plow, bovine byproducts, fresh mimeographs, and antibiotic-infused turkey scat, I have since refined and expanded my palate to include the smell of privilege, graft, suspect sushi, and hot leaking motor oil. Full disclosure, a blow to the head inflicted by a claustrophobic and frankly inconsiderate Red Angus bull sometime in the 1980s temporarily knocked out my sense of smell. I first noticed this deficit the day my two-pack-a-day grandma stubbed out her Carlton 100 in the living room and rushed past me in the kitchen, reached into the oven, and removed a burning roast. That little session with the bull also exacerbated residual impairments dating back to a high school incident involving an overdose of English leather and the accidental snorting of a leaky sampler of Dracaw Noir. Happily, I have since recovered the majority of my olfactory capacities, 
and am prepared to apply them toward the thorough review of pine tree air fresheners, cut-rate body sprays, and a comprehensive range of scratch-and-sniff novelty items. Rather than focusing solely on prepackaged items, I will also be available to judge the aroma of new gloves, baling twine and sunshine, hot welding slag, and, for the price of airfare, the scent of Caribbean beaches in January. Eschewing the five-star rating system that's so limited, Mr. Burr, I shall instead stick to three ratings. The double allergen, which means my sinuses froze right up, buyer beware. The diffident sniff, denoting an inoffensive but unremarkable scent. And finally, the piddly puppy, which means I took a lungful and it smelled so good, I had a little accident. See fresh ground coffee beans. In 2010, Mr. Burr resigned his critic's position to become curator of the world's first department of olfactory art at the Museum of Arts and Design in New York City, and still the Times has not called me. I guess I'll just have to strike out on my own. There is much to be smelled, and my nose is available immediately. Please submit all requests in writing, preferably in a scented envelope. Bucklure, fresh maple syrup, and brand new tractor tires go straight to the top of the pile. But hey, you know what I really like? The smell of the dust that is raised when pertnere sandstone hammers the stage. So what do you say, fellas? Come on up and hit her again. We're going to get Jay Lenz up here to sing one.
do it again Do I get myself sober? All the pain set in If I hit in the present If I run from the past If they're replacing the future somewhere My sanity can't last now Someone say Well, we got a few more songs for you. We're gonna get Sonny Boy up here and do a little skilly good and crazy. It's for everybody camping this weekend.
How about a big hand for Andy Lambert down there on the clog dancing, too? He teaches lessons down in the Twin Cities. If you guys want to look him up, it's Mi Minneapolis Clogging School.
great pleasure to be out here. We love you guys. Man, oh man, pretty near sandstone, everyone. You fellas go on home and shower and come back again someday. Top of Wisconsin, Tent Show Radio is a production of the nonprofit Lake Superior Big Top Chautauqua, the summer home of Tent Show Radio. Funding support for Tent Show Radio is provided by Travel Wisconsin. Smile a little wider with a Wisconsin getaway. Find mouth-watering dining ideas, must-see attractions, and endless accommodations at TravelWisconsin.com or on our app for iPhone and Android. And we're brought to you by the Bayfield Chamber and Visitor Bureau, Bayfield, Wisconsin. Offering sailing and kayaking among 22 pristine islands, gourmet restaurants, art galleries, and historic lodging. Information online at bayfield.org. And we're brought to you by the Bayfield Inn, located on the shoreline of Lake Superior. Proudly hosting Bayfield's visitors for nearly 100 years. Rooftop deck bar and events for all occasions. Online at thebayfieldinn.com. Tune in next week or visit us online Program notes, station locations, online streaming, Big Top Summer Show schedule, online ticketing and touring schedule of the Blue Canvas Orchestra, available at bigtop.org or by calling us at 1-888-BIG-10. Ten Show Radio is produced by Tom Fabchance, Michael Perry, Jamie Hansen, and yours truly, Philip Anich. Well, folks, that's our show for tonight. Whether you join us in the tent or join us in the air, whether you beam us or stream us, we're as grateful as a guy who smells fresh-cut bluegrass. Remember, the Big Top is open all summer long and into autumn and has been for going on three decades now. We'd love it if you came up and or over for a show. And if you're traveling by World Wide Web, I'd be grateful if you dropped by to visit me, your grateful tent show radio host, at sneezingcow.com. Yep, just the way it sounds. I'm going to head on back home now and try to be the right kind of fragrant. Drive careful. If you can't drive careful, watch out for the other guy. We'll see you next time. And remember where I come from and here at Tent Show Radio, nobody ever says goodbye. They just say, well, I suppose. Tent Show Radio will be on the road in 2014. We'll be performing at the State Theater in Eau Claire, Wisconsin, May 9th, and at the Capitol Theater in Madison, May 10th, and at the Grand Theater in Wausau, Wisconsin, May 15th, and at the Fox Cities Performing Arts Center in Appleton, Wisconsin, May 16th. Featuring Tent Show Radio host Michael Perry, the Blue Canvas Orchestra, and special musical guests, all live and in person. Ticket information available at TentShowRadio.com. 